and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, grab a seat, grab a popcorn, buckle up, because this is going to be an incredible episode. I am bringing to you someone that I've been following for quite some time. She's doing some incredible stuff, got some great content out there, is lifting up people left and right and is doing amazing things. So y'all give it up for none other than Joella Sparendika. Uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Gary. What an introduction. I'm the one that's super humble and just blessed to be here with you today. I am a follower, a fan. Actually, I was introduced to you by Miss Tara Samuels, you know, the matchmaker. Yes. Heaven. So, <laughs> yes. so um, and, and that's how I got to know really all about you and just really, really humble to be here. Uh, been in property management for a number of years. I won't tell you the exact amount because then I'll give you my age. But about 15 years in total, started in New York, um, started as a part-time actual part, uh, property manager for an HOA that slowly, or not as slowly, I should say rapidly transitioned to a regional role before I moved down here to New York, uh, to Orlando, Florida. That's awesome. And you know, Joellis, I, I love the things that you're doing and the inspiration that you're sharing with so many people. And so when I get intrigued by inspiring leaders, I love to connect with them just so I can peek behind the curtain and find out what inspires these inspiring leaders. And so I reached out to you and I asked you, what inspires you? You came back with three incredible pieces and I can't wait to, to talk about these and have you unpack them. So the first one you talk about that you have on here is clarity of principles and core values. So unpack that a little bit for us. You're, you're speaking my language, so but I want to hear what, what it means for you to have clarity of principles and core values to inspire you. Of course. Well, without our principles and our core values, we're no one, right? We don't know exactly where we're going. Uh, I used to be a person that wasn't clear, maybe not on my core values, because everyone has the core values that they grew up with They're from their culture, their parents, their upbringing. But I wasn't clear and I didn't have clear direction on my purpose and my path. And it wasn't until, and transparently here, it wasn't until I read your book, Super Fantastic Me, and no plug, did not get paid for this, <laughs> um, but it truly gave me a sense of processing what I wanted to do and how I was going to do it. It gave me those core values. It gave me or allowed me to think through what my principles are and how I can use those two to really have a purpose and complete a mission. So I really do have to give you kudos and thank you for that because although I had an idea of what I wanted to do, it wasn't until I, I got some real pathway that helped me clear my mind, helped me put my priorities in order where I could finally become that genuine, generously vibrant motivator that I am today. So um, that really is the core of how this journey started. Oh my gosh. And I love those generous, vibrant motivator. Those are three great words and they're just the powerful words. And, and I love how you talk about getting that clarity because we all have kind of a general understanding of things, our core values, if you will. You know, like you mentioned, I think it's great because it's culture, it's, you know, family, it's all the things that just kind of, there's a general idea. It's very, but not, and it's relatively ambiguous, but you took the opportunity to clarify what was important to you. You took the opportunity to create your path and, and create your purpose by getting clarity and I love that so much because when you have that, now you've got these tools, this understanding to continue the journey. And you're doing that with all the things that you're doing, you know, the content that you're sharing and the, and the groups that you're creating and the training. And I mean, it's just unbelievable to watch you do all the incredible things that you do. Um, and, and, I, and I just love it. I'm just like, again, I'm a big fan of that. And I love that you talk about principles and core values. The second thing that you brought up, which I truly love is authenticity, but you didn't end there. You said authenticity as a guiding light. So what does that mean? How to unpack, unpack that? How is authenticity your guiding light? So for me, I have to be authentic to myself in order to represent myself the way I want to be seen. Mm -hmm. um, it is 
extremely important as a minority. I'm a Latina woman born and raised in Colombia, came here when I was small and uh, or I was a young child and then was, brought, you know, this new culture was really just thrown at me and a new language. And it's very easy when you're a minority and not from this culture or this country to fall into what I should be versus who I really am. And I, it's taken me a long time to get to who I really am and for me to understand and process that if you don't like me because of who I am, that's okay. There's a million other people that do. And the most important people that do are the people I live with, my kids, my family, my husband. So, you know, it, it I have to use or you have to use your authentic self as really that guiding light, that pathway mm -hmm. so that you can feel comfortable in your skin so that the messages that you're giving out and that you well, while I'm facilitating, while we're having these conversations are authentic so that people really feel, you know, how I'm feeling and, and what my, what my passion is and what I'm communicating. If I wasn't authentic and I had all these notes written down and try to sound all intelligent and all these big <laughs> words, you just wouldn't buy it. You, you'd say, well, you know what? That's just another one in the bunch. And yeah. I am definitely not another one in the bunch. <laughs> and I know that the people I surround myself with aren't another one or aren't others in a bunch. We truly are authentic selves that want to represent not only our culture, but this industry and minorities in general. Oh my gosh, Joe Ellis, there's just so many things that you shared that resonate with me. And, and it's just, you know, some of the things gave me goosebumps. What you talked about was, you know, you, you are so unique. You are so valuable in of yourself. You were created to be something so special for the world and the world needs your special self. But I love how you recognize that you, you, you know, come from another country, you came here and social norms try to put you in a box to fit right. that world of where they are but what happens when that happens is you lose yourself that's right and i love that you just busted out of that box i had to like Mary. i have right? to Mary. i yeah. have to because if i still put myself in that box mm -hmm. there was no way that i was able to shine right yeah. i would have just really been one other in the bunch and mm -hmm. That's not my purpose. My purpose is go. to ensure that I open doors, and I mean open them wide open, so many people like me, my children, I have three beautiful Latina women that I need to ensure that they're successful. Yeah. I need to ensure that the people behind them are successful. So if I am not my authentic self, I'm lying to them, and I'm lying to myself. And I, I just can't do that anymore. That is so good. That The, the, the world needs, I mean, we say the world, but I love how you've kind of like, you're like, okay, let me back up a little bit. My kids need me. The people that surround me need me. And the, the people that surround you are the, the people that you've selected, you've picked because they, they accept the amazingness that you are because you bring your authenticity. And I love that you use that to light the path for you and for the people that you surround yourself with. Yeah. And that Thank is you. so powerful. I love I that, Joelle. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my I gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So the third thing, Joelle, that you you shared with me is commitment to service excellence. This is this is an interesting one because a lot of us will find at some point in time in our life we're like, oh, it's good enough. But here you are, you're committed to service excellence. So share with us what that means. Why are you committed to this and why does it inspire you? Well, really, I am committed to the excellence that I give out to others. I need to ensure that every time I show up, I'm showing up. It's not about, you know, I'm going to half show up. I'm going to half give this interview. I'm going to half give this presentation. People are listening because they want to hear a message. And if I am not being my authentic self, my 100% self every day, even on those tough days, then what am I doing here? What message am I trying to portray? What, you know, I have to be me and I have to show up every day. And when you think of service excellence, I really think of just giving the best you there is. 
it's about a positive impression. So every time you and I have a conversation, no matter how minuscule or how large, it's going to be a positive impression. I'm going to be an active listener. I'm going to allow you to give your perspective. And I'm in turn, I hope that you do the same for me. But if you don't, I'm still going to respect you and accept you for that. So it really is being the best version of yourself. And that changes every day. Every day I grow a little bit more. Every day I read an article that just enlightens me. Mm -hmm. So it is really just committing to being a better version of myself and giving that version to everyone else. Oh my gosh, that is so good because I almost feel like you're pre-deciding how you're going to do things during the day. And that pre-decision is like, yeah. you know what? Hey, no matter what this what the circumstance with my environment is, what the people around me are, I'm going to give my best That's because right. that is my authentic self because I have found my purpose through clarity. Joellis, you're just I love how you're just layering these things in and what it eventually is able to do for you and for everybody that gets to encounter you that's blessed to just be around you is they get your best and that is an incredibly generous gift that we all get to receive because we know you and it is so incredible that we become the beneficiary of your excellence um, that you're committed to deliver no matter what the day happens to be and, and i absolutely love that gary i told you i need like a monday morning with you like every monday morning a little segment with you uh <laughs> you just truly bring out the best in people and if i cannot tell you enough how much your book has transformed not only myself but even my company culture so believe it or not, um, I started with this book. Like I said, I heard I heard of you through Tara and I, I went to Amazon, purchased the book immediately. And once I received it and I started reading it, the information was invaluable. I mean, the information, the just the workbook type book. I mean, it's a, it's a great book. I can't I won't give too much because I need everybody to purchase it. Long Thank story you. short, um, you posted a contest on like whoever uh, commented first, I'll send them a, a signed copy, made sure I was on there. I, and I have two copies of your book, one that signed for my husband that's tucked away. He can't even touch, <laughs> but the other one is the one that I use every day. I use this with my family. So we went on a family trip and set our family principles and, 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 uh, core values. So as a family, we're very clear on what those are. And I took it one step further in, uh, really using your workbook for my onboarding process. So when I onboard our associates, I ensure that they have our core principles and values uh, really engraved. And we try to find out what theirs are through a series of activities um, mm -hmm. so that we know that they're aligned. And I actually have a education summit that I'm attending uh, soon with my the company I, I, I work for. And I everyone has a copy of your book. We are going to do the exercises and we're just sharing your knowledge and your expertise and really your pathway so that we can become that super fantastic self <laughs> and or create your own three words or whatever that might yeah. be. Um, so, so I really do have to thank you for that. Uh, you really helped me engulf in what I needed, my purpose, and that even helped me in my own business with Latinas and property management. So thank you oh so much. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, Joelle. So I'm, I'm receiving all of that. And what I also wanna share is not a but, but an and. Books are great. All the information is fantastic, but what you're doing is you're doing something with it. You're creating, now you have wisdom. Knowledge is one thing. Knowledge is just knowing stuff. Correct. Wisdom is applying it to make things better. And there you are, Joellis. You are a wise person beyond years because you're you're, you. you're taking action on the things and you're building yourself and you've, you're finding clarity. You're being authentic. You're committing yourself to excellence. You are just one of those shining examples and I'm, I'm so glad that i get to know you and get to to um connect with you but we're running at the end of our time it's been amazing to chat with you and learn a little bit more about you but before we wrap up joel so i want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us Ooh, okay well uh i want to welcome everyone 
to our Latinas in Property Management page. We are a group that's really looking to empower and provide resources to Latinos in the property management field. That includes commercial, student housing, and multifamily. And we're really here to serve you. We're servant leaders. We want to ensure that you have resources, that you have avenues, and people who just really care and want to see you succeed. So please feel free to connect with us. My name is Joe Ellis. Find me on LinkedIn, Facebook. I mean, all the social media platforms and uh, connect with us. We, we want to empower you and ensure that you get the best of us. Oh, that's fantastic. Joelle, so we're going to put your LinkedIn link in the show notes so people can connect with you. And we'll also, uh, does the Latinas and Property Management have a link on uh, LinkedIn as well? I will share all that with you. That's awesome. We'll put that on there so you guys can quickly connect with Joe Ellis and with Latinas and Property Management. Guys, make sure you're following Joe Ellis. She's just got some great content. She's lifting people up. She's helping them get to the next level. So make sure you connect with her because she is pretty super. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today on another episode of Super Fantastic Exchange. Joellis, you're super. We will see you on the next thank episode. You. Thank you.